Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add a radio button field in Bitform. Let's begin. To edit your form, either click on the three dot icon, then select edit form, or directly click on the form name. Here, search for the radio button field. Drag and drop the radio button field from the right sidebar into the form builder. Then navigate to the radio button field settings. The label option allows you to set a name for the field label that will be displayed on the front end of the form. Subtitle is used to add additional information to the field. You can also add a subtitle for the radio button field here. Admin label is used for administrative purposes and allows administrators to set a label name that will appear on the entries page. You can adjust the size and position of the field using these options. This helper text option enables you to provide short information about your input field, including any input restrictions and formatting requirements. The required option makes a form field mandatory and lets you customize the error message. You can show or hide the asterisk symbol by clicking this option. You can also choose the position of the asterisk symbol for the required field, before and after the label, on the right or left of the field. If you enable this option, the radio button field will be hidden, and if you disable this option, the radio button field will be visible. The disable option prevents users from entering or modifying any information in the form, ensuring that the form data remains accurate and unaltered. The Options column feature allows you to display the options in multiple columns. Here, you can specify the number of columns for your layout. Enabling the Allow Other option lets users input a custom value that is not available in the preset options, giving them more flexibility to enter their own choice. This option makes a custom input mandatory and lets you customize the error message. The Unique Entry option ensures that each form entry is unique and it helps to prevent duplicates. You can also set a custom error message that will be displayed if an entry is not unique. Using this feature, you can add or remove options from the radio button field, and you can also set default options for this field that will be displayed when the form is loaded. Then click on the Update button. Now let's preview the form to review the radio button field. Here, you can see that the radio button field has been successfully added to the form with its default value already set. That's all for this tutorial. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.